I'm Barbara, I'm an architect in Brussels and an enthusiastic urban sketcher. In this video I want to show you uh, some of my favorite materials. They are these very lightweight pocket palettes. I have a blue one and uh, one with reds and they are really lightweight. I really love them and do all my urban sketching with them. I will show you now how I fill them with the paint and then how to use them. In other videos I will show you some more about my sketches. The pocket palette comes with a little pouch, a cotton pouch, and um, these are uh, magnetic little plates that you can take off to fill them up. I have prepared all my paint tubes and I will now pour the paint in it and then put them back. You have to be careful to let them dry very carefully and totally before you close it and put it in your bag. I also prepare a little uh, paper that you can afterwards uh, show your colors on and put it in the pouch with your uh, palettes. When you fill up the paint, you have to be uh, very careful to uh, fill it up totally and push the paint very well in it so that there are no air bubbles. This is turquoise, one of my favorite colors. So this is cerulean blue, one of my favorite blues. It's uh, quite small, but that's very handy. So I have a little tool that I use to push the paint. It's a little spatula that I use to push the paint in the cube. Cerulean blue is very good to make nice uh, skies with clouds. I use all uh, Windsor and Newton paints um, of very high quality, artist quality. Um, it's a bit more expensive than non-artistic quality, but I think it's very important as well as to use good paper. Yes, this spatula is um, a steel uh, spatula um, for uh, restoration work. It's very fine. I think you can also use uh, tools for uh, sculpting or and you find them in an uh, um, art tools shop. Um, these are the little uh, plates that come so that come in on the magnetic uh, uh, bottom in the palettes. Um, for the rest I will put uh, greens. Uh, so it's the palette with blues and greens and one yellow um, so you can make extra greens if you uh, want to make warmer greens or uh, colder greens with more blue and um, for the rest I will put Berlin green it's a very dark uh, green I use for the uh, shadowings in the trees and I will uh, also put um, uh, Terre Verte, it's a very uh, light uh, green and uh, olive green and then uh, sap green. Uh, this is very nice for um, grass. And then I will finally uh, put the uh, mixture I made with um, cobalt blue and transparent orange. I made this mixture in a separate palette and put it in um, uh, uh, jumbo palette that is the size of two small palettes and uh, it's a um, mixture of uh, so transparent orange and cobalt blue and it makes a very warm gray um, if you want it a bit cooler you can put more blue in it and you want it a bit warmer you can put more orange in it I will now continue with the filling of the palettes
So this is um, light ochre. While painting, I, I find it interesting to have this. Um, this uh, yellow also in the blues to make to quickly adapt your your uh, greens i will also put a uh, purple purple is also uh, it's a very um, transparent uh, purple windsor dioxazine it's also nice for shadowing I adapt my uh, palette um, in time, uh, from time to time, I change colors when I experience that I would prefer another color. Uh, then it's easy to take out these pans and to change the color. You have to clean them then. Um, and this is uh, black. A lot of watercolorists don't use black. Um, I think you just have to do what you feel like. And I like this black a lot. It's a uh, lamp black. And sometimes I like to make a monochrome uh, sketch just in black or to make uh, some shadows really, really dark. So you don't have to um, prevent from using black. So when you see um, these colors, uh, it's not easy anymore to see uh, which one it is. And also when it's dry, uh, I never clean my palette. It's just great to have this mixture of colors, just make it wet again and you can continue to paint. Um, you don't see them very well, so it's very useful to make always this uh, little paper um, so that uh, you can quickly see which color is where when you paint. So I have always this little paper next to me. So we will make now one for this new palette. So this was the ultramarine. And you just make uh, one approximately the size of your pens. Make it big enough, uh, like the real size. It doesn't have to be a very correct uh, rectangle. The turquoise. So <clears throat> what I did um, before starting this um, <clears throat> little paper is to draw a um, rectangle the size of my palette to make sure it fits with the palette in the pouch. Cerulean blue. This is a nice blue for when there's a light cloudy sky. The purple you can go really dark with this. Green earth, terre verte. Perylene green, nice dark green. Don't be afraid to use a lot of pigment and a lot of water. Olive green. My gray mixture, cobalt blue and orange in the Jumbo palette. 
cobalt blue and orange are transparent colors, so this gray is also still transparent. Just add blue to it, cobalt blue, if you want to make it cooler. This is the lamp black. Now I continue down here with the hookah screen. Very bright <laughs> green. And the sap green. So it's like grass. And finally the yellow ochre. Good to have it in this blues and greens palette to adjust your uh, greens and blues to make it warmer and to have some light spots. You can add the names of the colors to this, but I don't really think it's necessary to know all the names of the colors you use, but it's interesting if you want to make a refill and you're not sure anymore which color it is. So when you want to add the names, it's good to do it immediately. Um, so you don't <laughs> forget um, which one you used, which happens a bit uh, from time to time with me when I use a color uh, add a color that I'm not so used to so ultramarine so I have let the paint dry overnight and now I can put them in it it is not totally dry yet but Almost. You still have to leave it open a little bit. So the um, pens stick on the magnetic surface and it's really very solid. The pens look very small but it's plenty of paint, uh, more than necessary for you to go urban sketching. You really don't need bigger palettes. 